Okay, so in this video I will show you how you can use Bionic Reading on your Kobo e-reader. In this case I have a Kobo Libra H2O, but it works with all Kobo e-readers and probably also Amazon Kindle devices. But to use Bionic Reading on Kindle devices you have to convert your EPUBs to Mobi format for your Kindle device first. But first you need to install an app called Bionic Reading. Bionic Reading is recently released for both iOS and Android. This app converts your EPUB books to Bionic Reading format. Works pretty good. I have already installed it as you can see and Bionic Reading, if you don't know what that is, is a format to read faster, better, more focused and reading more. So this app will convert your EPUB books. So start by installing that app. Then we will open the app. Here I have opened the app. Now from here you need to choose the second options, files. And from here you need to choose a file and your file need to be DRM free. So no copyrights, no copy protection on your EPUB book. And I am subscribing to Tor Books Tor Books newsletter and with that newsletter I get a lot of free books quite often. So here we have one of them, The Alloy of Law by Brandon Sanderson. So I click on that book and choose open. Now that book is ready to process in Bionic Reading app. Now I click process. This will take a while, so we have to wait for a while, but not as long as you saw. Here we have that book now formatted with Bionic Reading format. It actually looks quite neat, I think. You can, of course, go into settings in Bionic Reading app and do a lot of different uh, stuff if you want to have it some different formations some different formatting as you can see you can choose a lot of different stuff but i will go for the default settings for this example so i'm happy with this as it is now now we need to save this book to your device and I am an Apple user, so I use an iPhone and I have a Mac, so I just click save because now this book will save to iCloud. And then later on I will find that book on my Mac. Totally automatically it will be ready on my Mac. And from the Mac I will transfer it to my Kobo e-reader. So just click this icon on top to save this book as you can see here you can send it immediately to your amazon kindle device if you have one that's neat or you can download an epub file or download a pdf so i will download the epub file now this will take a while it says so we just have to wait for a while to see when it's ready still working on this so it will take a bit longer and it still works 30 seconds or so now it's ready here we can choose where you want to store this book and i just click done because i want to show a copy of this in the same folder as i have the original book so i just click done and that's it now i have that book in bionic reading format so now i can transfer it to any ebook reader i want so now we go into my mac to do the rest of the video okay so here we have the bionic reading formatted 
EPUB book, as you can see here. The original book was The Alloy of Law by Brandon Sanderson, but this one is the formatted version of that. As you can see, it has the same size and all, so that's no different there. So now you just have to copy this, transfer this, or whatever to your ebook reader. So I will just drag this file to this Kobo e reader that I have connected to my Mac and just release it. Now it's copied to the Kobo e reader. That is how easy it is. So now I just disconnect my Kobo Air Reader again. And after that, I will show you in the video how it looks on my Kobo Air Reader. Okay, so here my Kobo Air Reader is. So now when I disconnect this from my Mac, just wait a while because it's disconnected at the moment from my Mac. Now, as you can see now, I can remove this power cable and by doing a search, you can find that recently added book, Bionic Reading, on your co-reader, Kobo e-reader. So, I just click on this file now and the book will open, hopefully. It clearly takes a while, as you can see. But hopefully it will open like so. So now we will see if it works on the Kobo e-reader. I have never done this before, so this is the first time. But it should be formatted as uh, Bionic Reading, as you can see here. So now if I go to Table of Contents and go to Chapter 1, for example. Here we have the book formatted in bionic reading and of course you can still do some settings like um, married margins and so we can have better margins everything gets slower with the bionic reading formatted book i see actually but uh, as you can see here you can read this book with bionic reading formatting that is how easy it is to use bionic reading on a kobo air reader and of course it works with amazon kindle too if you want if you prefer that ecosystem and locked in version of air reading personally i love kobo air readers better because you can hack them and install co reader on them and do a lot of stuff and you don't need to be forced to use Amazon all the time. But this is it. Please like this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss more videos from me. I will do a lot of book videos on how to read books and different apps to use when reading books and so on. And of course, a lot of videos about Apple products too. Okay, bye.